Welcome back guys and let's talk about aircraft fluids. There are a variety of aircraft fluids that are used and for many different purposes. For today, we're going to keep it simple and just stick to the most common ones. You ready? Here we go. First and foremost, it's very important to identify the type of fluid you're using. Notice every single one of them have a different color. Yes, this is very important. Also, if you have a leak, we can identify the fluid like this. Oh, and by the way, the smell of the fluid is also very important. Every one of them have a distinct smell. So let's start with number one, hydraulic fluid. Everybody's favorite. Most commonly used, Skydrol. The purple sticky punch. Skydrol is incredibly important. It's used almost everywhere on the aircraft. It basically runs the most important components. Everything from hydraulic pumps, power transfer units, any kind of actuator, servo, flight controls, Thrust reversers as well. That's right. Massive actuators push these things back. Here you can see a deployment of the thrust reverser on a G90. In addition, hydraulic fluid is also used in steering as well as landing gear. You can see right here on a 787. Notice the massive actuators getting pushed. That's right. Guess what? There's 5,000 PSI being pushed through those actuators. That's also a good thing to mention. Not all aircraft run on the same type of pressure. 787 in particular runs on 5,000 PSI, but something like this, a 737 or an Airbus right there, runs on 3,000 PSI. Oh yeah, brakes and landing gear doors also run on hydraulics. And sometimes hydraulics do seep out. This is due to temperature changes and pressure changes. That's why we as maintenance service them. So yeah, that's your Skydrol. Up next, let's take a look at engine oil. Now, there's also a variety of engine oils, different mil specs. It's up to the manufacturer as well as the company what type of oil they want to use, but they all perform the same function. So primarily, well, engine oil is obviously for the engine because we service the engines all the time. Common misconception is where people think that we change out oil all the time on these aircraft engines. We don't, we keep adding the oil gets burnt off. And that's normal. The only time we would change oil is if it's contaminated or if there's a specific job card. Since oil gets very hot because it's continuously lubricating the engine, it needs to be cooled down. It's either done through air or by cold fuel. By the way, they don't intermix. Engine oil can also be used for servicing IDGs, integrated drive generators. It takes the same type of oil, engine oil. Overall, keeping the engine well lubricated and running efficiently. Just as a side note, we use a variety of tooling to service and not only engine oil, but as well as hydraulic fluid. Bowsers, such as this. These are very helpful and very handy when it comes to servicing all these components. Okay, done with the oil. Now let's move on to fuel. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Aircraft fuel, Jet A. There's a variety of fuels with different tints of color. Most people say it's straw colored, but for me, it just looks like water. It looks clear. Here, let me show you. I'm going to sump the tank on the 737. What I'm doing here is collecting a sample of fuel from the sump drain right here. We do this in order to see if there's any water buildup inside the tank. So fuel gets also very, very cold because it's inside the wing. The wing is the tank. So guess what? We use hot engine oil to warm up the fuel to keep it nominal temperatures. Once again, they don't intermix. They go through fuel oil coolers. So yeah, that is the fuel. Now on to the last one. This is a very common one and it's very bright red. This is strut fluid, better known as Milspec 5606. It is very common. Most common use of this is guess what? To wipe down the struts, the chrome part. It does get dirty sometimes. So we put it on the rag and we wipe it off just like this to keep it clean, making sure the seals are nice and lubricated. The different varieties of strut fluid those are that a specific two struts themselves that go inside the strut when we do have to repack them. But it very much has the same functionality. Here you can see a strut repack. That whole chrome piece was pulled out and a new one was put in. And the fluid was reintroduced or reserviced, I should say. A pretty cool look at the aircraft on jacks. So yeah, aircraft use a lot of fluids for a lot of important things. From actuating all these important components, making sure they stay cool or hot. And most importantly, you need fuel to run the engines. By the way, stay away from this fluid. Nobody wants this one. <laughs> Infamous blue juice. Overall, a word of advice on the fluids. This stuff, keep it out of your eyes and off your skin or else it will burn like heck. 
This stuff. It will stain everything and it'll never come out. This stuff gets on you, you're gonna smell like fuel for two weeks. And last but not least, this stuff, well, that just smudges everything. Wear your gloves and safety gear. Take care.